Okay, so for for this um, this lecture, we're going to just talk, uh, do an example of uh, integration approximation using the Taylor series. It's kind of a long example, so it's going to be its own little video. So the first thing we know is that sine of x over x is one over x times well the Taylor series, um, and we're going to use the Taylor series centered at zero. Um, and so x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial, you know, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial, and so on. And we know that this is going to be 1 minus x squared over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 5 factorial plus uh, negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n over 2n plus 1 factorial, etc. Got a little excited with my dots there. So the integral from 0 to 1, if I were going to use the Taylor series to compute the integral completely, I'm just going to integrate the series that I've just got. And so we just integrate term by term. So we get x minus x cubed over 3 times 3 factorial plus x to the 5 over 5 times 5 factorial. And the general term, we get x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 factorial plus et cetera, forever and ever. Um, and we evaluate at the limits. So we get 1 minus 1 over 3 times 3 factorial plus 1 over 5 times 5 factorial. That is going to be a minus, but that's okay. Uh, and 1 over 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 factorial, and this continues forever. And then when we plug in 0, we get 0. And we can write this as the summation and going from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times 1 over 2n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 factorial. That's the nice convenient thing about having that general term there is we just get to write the series right away. This is no longer exactly a Taylor series, but this is an alternating series. So we, we can see it's an alternating series. Um, and so uh, the nth partial sum is going to be, well, the first term minus the second term, you know, we're plus the second term plus the third term, right? To get n terms, we actually have to stop at n minus 1. Uh, let's say the kth partial sum. Uh, so we have to stop at k, n equals k minus 1. So that's going to be 2k minus 1, 2k minus 1 factorial. And the remainder, the magnitude, of the remainder is uh, bounded by sort of the absolute value of the uh, of the next of the first sort of neglected term. So what I mean is that my remainder is less than or equal to the absolute value of negative 1 to the k, 1 over 2k plus 1, 2k plus 1 factorial. Right, so that's just 1 over 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 factorial. Now I'd like to um, estimate my, my integral 
uh, with a, an error no greater than 10 to the minus fifth. So what we need is we need that remainder to be less than or equal to 10 to the fifth. Um, so that means that we're going to need this 1 over 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1 factorial to be less than or equal to 10 to the negative fifth. Mm. OK. So this is not something you can just be like, Right, um, uh, we see that this is true if uh, 2k plus 1 is greater than or equal to 8, um, which means that k is going to be greater than or equal to 7 halves. So in other words, uh, k equals uh, 4. I.e. we need to use S for the partial sum of the first four terms. Okay, so the first four terms, it's going to give us, so the first term was a 1. We have 1 minus 1 over 3 times 3 factorial plus 1 over 5 times 5 factorial. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 minus 1 over 7 times 7 factorial. And if you plug that into the calculator, you get that this is approximately 0 0.94. Six zero eight three. Wow, that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Oh, by the way, you try integrating this one a different way. Anywho, um, next we're going to talk about representing real numbers with Taylor series. Not a very, um, not too rough, I don't think, in terms of topics, right? So the idea there is what we're going to do is we're going to just, uh, you know, plug and play. Uh, we find a Taylor series and we plug in a value for X. All right, so that's all fun and games for today, or for, for today, for this lecture. And I hope you all um, have a good day and stay safe. Well, that could have gone wrong. I'll stop recording.